my brain cells to channel Nubinator. Mmm, homosexuality. Mmm, slurs. Mmm, the Virginia Crips. Mmm. Rail grind. What, what is he also into? Um. Shit. Shit. Guys, is it over? Uh, what else is he into? Um, fuck. Mm, Lansing air hockey. Mm, Pokemon competitive. Mm, regulation F, I guess. I don't know which one he plays. Coffin of Andy and Lele. Fuck, I summoned Mick. What? That's fucking silly. Oh my god. What the hell were you doing? I was doing a, a, a summoning ritual to get you in here. I had the music and everything. The video is like the least summoning ritual to get me to show up. What do you mean? Up. I looked it up and it, it has your name in it. So I figured that this would summon you. I don't even like. I don't like it that much. What were you even saying? I heard Gold Dingo and the coffin of Andy and Lele. I was just what? saying things that were that you liked that were noobcore. So I was like, mmm, the batter, mmm, Enoch, mmm, oh, mm, fucking Jafari. Jafari? <laughs> Jafet. John Jafari? Oh, Jafet, there you go. Oh. It took me like a minute to remember Jafet's name. I was like, is it Jafalt? Fuck, well, you it? know what? Fair enough. Jafet is probably the most forgettable of the group. Though admittedly, I still remember him distinctly because I really like his mm, character. Venn but... diagram pornography. Mm. <laughs> Mike. Okay. Diagram happens. Anyways, um. How are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing good. Alright. I'm doing okay. Sorry. I'd like to say the the, the summoning ritual worked. You did yeah, show up. You, you you did show up. You show a video with a crossbow. The future is ours to decide. Yo, out of the set. Anyways, um. Hey, I wasn't here for when you announced the stuff yesterday. Did I? Did, did Ocean Man make it to Braga? Uh, he did not. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, it it's in the stream channel of the people who won, or the people right. who. It was J A S King D D D Amalgamates Ridley Ditto's Lucas and Ichabod's Captain Falcon. Where even is that? Uh, Ocean Man went two and three. Face. Damn, the two matches that I saw him win were the only matches he won. Maybe he should have been there for longer. Maybe he would have been more inspired to win. Next up is Joe Abbey. Old four, orange two. Are you ready for some? Oh no, it's gonna start auto playing. No, I don't want. I don't want to watch more Big Daddy Enoch. That guy sucks. 
Okay. I made a new Pokemon Showdown account. Okay. And we're going to make a team. Okay. So, obviously we're doing the newest regulation because it's going to be the only one people are playing right now. Yes. Let me load up this set first. But continue. So, this process may take a while. But, um, so you really like side target strategies, right? I think they're neat. Okay. Well, I have the perfect archetype for you because you get to use a bunch of top tiers. Oh joy! Is one of them you my use... is one of them my beloved Ole? Why is no. this power attack not working? Oh, oh, my controllers. If you were gonna put Ole, Ole on the team, the only reason we would run Ole over like Incineroar is because like Ole can, I guess. My controller did. I was charging it all night. What the fuck? Like, Ole could be, like, a counter to King Gambit, I guess? Where Incineroar does that less effectively? But I feel like we really don't give a shit. I was charging- What's the charge on my controller? Because I was charging it all night. It's full! Why did it turn off? Anyways, um... So, Orchid, when you're done with that, I would like you to put a few Pokémon into the team builder. Because okay, I think so you're going to find this Incin Incineroar first and foremost, right? No, actually. We might, we'll does, probably slot him on the team anyway. Does the turn order matter? Four. Okay, format. The first and okay. foremost That's is right the here. core of your team. Incineroar is a support Pokemon. You never start with Incin. Okay, add Pokemon. Alright, so, so. I think what you're really going to like is going to be running our Chaladon and Annihilate. Okay. Uh, and then, Mousehole. Those are the first three Pokemon you put in the team builder here. Because if you want some side target strategies, you get to side target beat up. So, I was doing that with, um... I was doing that with regular Primeape and Mousehole because I was like, hmm, <laughs> funny. I resist the beat up. Okay. Yeah, Chaladon like, no, not showing up bugs me. Also, no, it was not because you resisted the beat up. Because you went Terra Ghost to proc a weakness policy, you bitch. No, Primeape had a uh, Eviolite. Right. Still, you were still going Terra Ghost. Yeah, but I think the idea was to get the beat up and then Terra Ghost. Either way, it doesn't matter that that Pokemon is like strictly worse. Yeah, okay. Uh, what ability? Um, for which one? Uh, Archaladon. We're gonna start with Archaladon. Uh, Stamina Archaladon. Actually, let's get the abilities first. Stamina Archaladon. Uh, Defiant Annihilate. And then, Friend Guard Mousehold. Okay. Okay, let's get our move sets done first. We'll get to item and EV later. Okay. Um, actually, with our Chaladon, item is kind of like second nature. Our Chaladon pretty much always wants the assault vest. Yeah, okay. Um, and then I think we go... Hmm. I think... Electro is Electroshot one of them? Because I know that's good in Poker Road. Yeah, everyone uses Electroshot. Electroshot, always. Um, Electroshot, Body Press. And then there are... You have a decision between a few moves. Okay. Right. You always want a Dragon move. So, you can either use Draco Meteor or Dragon Pulse, depending on which you prefer. <laughs> because and Dragon Pulse... This is Pulse a special attacker, right? Yeah, it's a special attacker. Uh, Dragon Pulse has the consistency, while Draco Meteor has the more immediate burst damage, so you can threaten some people on the lead with it that way. But it'll make it so, you know, using it is a little more costly. Well, I have Electro's. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, Draco Meteor drops you by two special attack, not one. Yeah, I think I'll go Dragon Pulse first. Okay. 
And now your last move, uh, you can reorder these however you want. I will. I would have, if I make this team myself, like as a recreation, I will probably order it in a very specific order because that's how I am. Autism. So uh, yeah, your last yeah. move slot is pretty flexible. There's a lot of things that people do with it. Uh, sometimes I see Gnarl, and sometimes I see Flash Cannon to hit Fairy types. Because, you know, Fairy is a really good type. So you're either getting the versatility of shutting down uh, special attackers more effectively, or you're getting the versatility of hitting shit with giant fucking metal ball. I, I think that choice is more up to you here. I can't believe they have a version of Electro Shot that is rock type, but it's less accurate. And oh, weaker. yeah, no, that existed way before Electro Shot. Okay. Also, it doesn't uh, get the benefit of charging in one turn in rain. Noob, are you a oh, chuckster? Okay. A what? Are you a chuckster? I like the idea of snarl. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Who's asking? The people are asking. I don't know, what are you, a cop? No. The people oh, sound oh. like a cop. Can't trust them. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, so. Uh, okay, snarl. You will get to the EVs and Terra types later. Well, okay, if I go Snarl, will, will I have a Pokemon in this set that can take care of Fairy types? I don't think you're too concerned about Fairy types anyway. Okay, okay. Thank you for like, the I promo, think... buddy. No, now I can go the, play Squid Games. The bits, uh, ditto. How's it going? Good to see you. Hope you're enjoying. The tournament. We're gonna be doing some Pokemon Showdown in a bit. Uh, I think the rest of the team. I think this team's going to be fairly neutral to fairy types. Though I don't think there's a lot of fairy types in the meta to be concerned about. But there okay. are good fairy types always. Like Sylveon is not something that's everywhere right now, but I'm using it and it's good. Is this guess spread good? Uh, don't guess spread. Do not guess spread. Okay. Absolutely do not. Remove all EVs. We will we will get to the specifics later. Okay. So be on my beloved. So annihilate. We're going to annihilate. We're getting to EVs, natures, and terra types later. Okay. So annihilate. We want protect, bulk up, rage fist, drain punch. That is just the move set. Items. Um, let's let's touch on that later. There's a bunch of viable items for Annihilate. Okay. I think that more depends on the rest of your team. No. Um, protect. Uh, follow me. Beat up. Non-negotiable. You need these. Um, last slot is really flexible. Some okay, people use on. I gotta, encore. I got to report a set. Alright, 2-1 Zelda. Alright, while you're doing that, can I continue talking? Yes. Okay, so, the last slot is really flexible. Sometimes people use Encore, because Encore can just, like, lock somebody into something. Like, if somebody tries to set up on you, you can just lock them into it. And potentially just ignore that Pokemon for the entire game while beating up their partner slot. And then just kill them at the end when you have four Pokemon against one and they're set up to, sh to have the high hell. Yeah. And if you can keep the mouse hold alive, then you can just beat them one-on-one -on -one with the mouse hold by encoring, then continuing to beat up and beat up and beat up until they struggle. That sounds funny. Or you can have Taunt if you want to help shut down a Mingus more consistently and other Pokemon that rely on their status moves. Taunt is a really good move. It is probably the best move in that slot. I, I feel like Tailwind is being used heavily here, huh? Yeah, but you're not really here to taunt the Tailwind users. The Tailwind users are getting it with priority, so you're not touching them. Uh, this is not for Tailwind. Okay. 
Um, I think I, still I saw like it, two teams, I think, that were running non priority Tailwind. Like the Pelipper teams will tend to run Tailwind on Pelipper, so they'll have non priority Tailwind. And then the. Uh, I saw a Salamence one time that had Tailwind. And that was their team's Tailwind setter. So I've, I've not seen a lot of non-priority Tailwind Pokemon, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's basically... Alright. Now what? Who? Did Nubinator explode? Uh, I don't know. I think so. This PC might have crashed. Guess it's on. Get guess it's on me to build the rest of the team. Yeah, you got this. Um. Uh, my Wi-Fi said. Get back. Okay. Okay, anyways, so, um, there are a few other options for the last lot on the that I was talking about. Um, the other options that I think are good are Super, are Super Fang and Thunder Wave. Uh, Thunder Wave doesn't get used a lot, but it can be good because it's, like, triple a Pokemon. Which, yeah. if it's, like, Encore, you can just cripple a Pokemon. I think I would want that, actually. And Super Fang just says, oh, hey. Your HP, I cut it in half. Yeah. Which is generally pretty good for just, I want you to be less of a threat later. That would be nice for, like, bitches like, um, Garganackle. Perhaps. Specifically, I don't think? Well, bulky guys. Yeah. So, here's the deal. You're gonna want other Pokemon with other game plans because side target beat up is not a completely consistent game plan on its own. Yeah. So I think with the remaining three Pokemon, we want to tie this archetype into an archetype that is, you know, more consistent. Yeah. And that's why we're so, clicking Bastiodon, bitches. I would like for you to choose. Or, I mean, you don't have to, but this is my proposal. We can try to find something else if you'd like. But, here's my thought. Okay. okay. Yeah, give me some give me some free will. Electroshot exists. Okay? Yes. The thing about Electroshot is that, you know, it only charges instantly in the rain. So you need a rain setter. You want to know what else really likes rain setters? Water type Pokemon. Halifim. I propose we add a rain setter, we add Palafin, and then we figure out the sixth Pokemon from there. Does that sound reasonable? Okay. Do I get to have a choice in Rain Setter? Or I guess yes, it... actually. I think either of them are just as viable. Generally, Pelipper is the more commonly used one, but I think, actually, that Politoed's really good. Especially with the fact that you can run Parish Song, so if you oh, can take out two Pokemon... Po oh, I was thinking Seismitoad. Not Seismitoad. I wish. Uh, so... I wish or, Seismitoad. Perhaps. You have like a prankster Pokemon with Rain Dance that could work. That's also an option. And then that but could I like. I don't think that's as good of an idea as Pelipper or Palatoad. I think those are both very good options, very okay, strong options here. I I I, I want to see my options. Which okay, so which, which if, prankster mons can learn Rain Dance? You can just okay. Scroll up. Scroll up. Click on Prankster. Now type in Rain Dance. Okay. Those are your options. 
Yo, we're we're fucking using Eloise in this bit. Yeah, I think I think Lefty's like a no-brainer. I'm not so sure. I mean, it's a good defensive typing, still fairy. They're weak to fire and ground. I mean, yes, it is the best typing ever made. On one hand, yes, yes, that is correct. On the other hand, this Pokemon has the most pathetic offensive repertoire ever created. And you're doubling up on steel types. Okay, let's look at our other options then. Let's not jump balls first. Okay. Fly eye. Um, Rock and Roller. Rock and Roller does not have Rain Dance or Prank. I mean, he might have rain dance. I don't know, but I doubt it. Um, I think Sableye is a historically good pick if you want to go with that. I think Grafi Eye is fast enough where you might not even need oh, yeah, to have Prankster. But I think Prankster is still uh, probably something you want. I'd say Sableye would go best with your overall game plan if we're going to go the Palafin route. Because we don't need to go Palafin Rain as our second option, but we can. Because oh, Curse can is not in the game anymore? I don't think it gets Curse anymore. Curse is in the game. Curse has been in the game. Okay. Awesome. But, um... I think you're gonna want Fake Out. Hear me out. Helping hand. Mm, helping hand doesn't need prankster. Hear me out. Encore. Fake out plus encore is a disgusting combination. You're right. You're so right. Um, and then. And then probably foul play. I would say. To have an offensive move. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. Okay. This is chill. Um, we're not setting screens, unfortunately. Hold on, I, I, I have a name for this guy. Okay. Um, now I would say there is one alternative set that does work well here, which would be Rain Dance Reflect Light Screen Foul Play. Oh, that's that's also true, but I think. But fake out plus one. Shut things down yeah. for a bit longer. Yeah, because like I can Thunder Wave. I can Encore. I have two shutdown options. I have Snarl. Yeah, I like this. I like Fancy. Squillium Fancy Brain to go along with Brain Word. Okay. Let's get in the Palafin. Okay. Because the funny thing about Palafin, um, Flip Palafin, turn is a no brainer, right? No, 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 okay. no, no. Okay. Uh, the thing is, usually you just want to switch Palafin out and not risk it taking damage before it switches. Okay. Like, I used Flip Turn on one Palafin team at one point that I made for Nightmare, but. That was a Reg C team, and that was because that team very specifically wanted, like, the mobility that you got with Flip Turn after it transformed most of the time. Orchid. Orchid, no. Orchid. Orchid. You see what I'm cooking, though, right? I see what you're trying to cook. But okay. you have burnt down the kitchen. None is, of this works. Please remove all three of those moves. That is not working. Is Palafin not... Is Palafin, is Palafin physical or special? Purely physical. Okay? Oh, damn. There are three moves that are basically required on any Palafin, okay? Okay. And your fourth move is flexible. Okay. Protect, jet punch, wave crash. Always. And then acrobatic. 
Now, in the fourth slot, a lot of people run Haze to shut down Don Dozo. But I think with uh, Fake Out plus Encore uh, on, the, on the boy, I think we have a... And the fact that we have Thunder Wave, and the fact that we have uh, Rage Fist, which is usually a pretty good answer into... Uh, Don Dozo as long as you can get the stacks on it. I don't think we're having a problem with our Don Dozo matchup, you know? I, I'm tempted to use Focus Punch. But, oh, Focus Punch probably is not great at all in doubles, huh? Three, two, one, uh -huh. I would say that Aunt, Throat Chop, uh, maybe Substitute. Substitute's a good option, and Bulk Up's a good option. We have Crash has free foil, so... Um, if you... Yeah, trust me. You don't give a shit. Okay. Jet Punch is priority, and it does a shit ton of damage anyways. Wave Crash is for when you need to fucking nuke a slot, and Jet Punch is for when... Jet Punch is wet for when a bomb will suffice. Wave Crash is for when you need the nuke. I would say that, um, if you really want to get around certain Pokémon, Mainly Gastrodon, which people have started running to get around the thing. Grass Knot might work. I genuinely don't know. We would have to run a calc on that to see if Grass Knot could kill. Um. Personally, I would recommend Substitute or Bulk Up. Okay. But this is absolutely a slot that we will probably change later, even if... Or not probably, but we'll... If we're changing something, this is one of the likely candidates. You know, this slot on Palafin. Yeah. Um, I think we can just do the Palafin spread right now, honestly. Okay. I would just go max HP, max attack, and then four speed, adamant. Four speed, adamant. And then bam, we're done. We did it. Uh, we'll get to that later. So... Right now, okay, the best thing we can have for the team at this point is probably a pivot, okay? Right. Ooh. I think you want a Rillaboom. Does that sound reasonable? Rillaboom? With Grassy Surge? Yeah, yeah. I give me a second, I gotta record a set. Keep going. Alright. What are you eating? Uh, Tostitos chips. God dang. Make me want some pizza rolls. Except this crunchy bowl, okay? Okay, now here's the deal. Here's the deal. Alright? Let's give this a look. So, there's a bunch of different ways that people will run 
Rillaboom. But Rillaboom is one of the few Pokemon that doesn't often run Protect. Go on. Now, the reason I think we want to run Rillaboom Three, two, one, is because go. with a Pokemon like this, we can have a very simple game plan, okay? U turn, fake out, grassy glide, and wood hammer. Now, sometimes the wood hammer slot is swapped for other things. Like, for example, if you want to fuck over a gold dango, we could have knockoff. Which might be a good idea, but I don't know. Do you want to go... I, I think knockoff's a good option. But that just depends on your preference. Wood hammer, I promise you hits a lot harder than you think it will. Yeah, I know. No, I mean, it will hit a lot harder than you think it will, coming off of this Pokemon. I promise you. Okay. Okay, I have seen, like, bulky resist that I don't expect to take much damage take over half their health from that move. Alright, we have our team. On Rillaboom, there's a few options. Sometimes people will run leftovers to be able to get, like, additional health. Uh, I'd say the best option is usually Miracle Seed. Yeah. Um, I would also say that Citrus Berry is an option that you could run that would be good. Yeah, because... I would like to keep my private option, and I, and I have a fucking recoil move. Mm. Okay, so I'm um, looking at this team. Okay, so let's look a little deeper into the mouse hold and the annihilate. So here's the deal: mouse hold annihilate. They need to be able to beat Amoongus. They need to. They need to be able to consistently beat Amoongus. And our fourth move on Mousehold is Thunder Wave. That is not doing that. I would say the best way to ensure that you're not going to lose to Amoongus is to either make your Mousehold Terra Grass or make your mouse hold safety goggles. However, that would mean that if you're putting your goggles on mouse hold, you're gonna need your mouse hold for that, you know? On the other hand, another great way to beat Amoongus is just by putting safety goggles on your palafin. The problem is, you know, it's a little less, I don't know, reliable to do immediately. If they bleed Amoongus, then you're in trouble. Like, right now, the biggest problem this team has is we don't have enough ways to make sure that Amoongus is not doing shit. You know? We might want Taunt over Thunder Wave because of the big Amoongus weakness we have right now. Yeah. It'll just make our Amoongus matchup much more flexible. Um, I don't know what the best Palafin item is right now. Right now, I would say for this team, you either want Safety Goggles or you want Mystic Water. Safety Goggles will make you immune to Rage Powder and Spore, which will be really helpful. And Sleep Powder from shit like Hisui and Lilligan. And Mystic Water will make your Water-type moves do slightly more damage, you know? It's just Water-type Miracle Seed. Yeah. Personally, 
most of the time, I think Palafin wants to go Terra Water for the nuclear damage. But you can do other Terra types. But most of the time when I'm playing Palafin, I find Terra Water to be the best type. Mystic Water can just make you even more nuclear, but Safety Goggles can protect you from Umungus. And basically just let you say, if your plan was to use Amoongus to beat the shit out of me, I just smack your partner every turn. Yeah. Hmm. Then again, then again, you do have Substitute. And Substitute can just let you get around uh, four if you use it. Yeah. You could go Leftovers Palafin and be really hard to kill. That would be funny. Yeah, I think we're cooking. Actually, wait, no, 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 You want leftovers on Annihilate. What am I saying? So for Palafin, I would say you either want to switch off of Mr. Er, I would say you either want to go Safety Goggles and switch Substitute or stay Mystic Water Substitute. Like, you can go safety goggles bulk up, maybe. That's a set I run. But Mystic Water Substitute is also just as interesting. It gives you more immediate damage, but makes you less immediately. The problem with running Substitute is that it makes you immune to Spore, but not Rage Powder, meaning you do still need to break the Amoongus. Where safety goggles just lets you say, if I want to, I can just ignore Amoongus for the rest of the day. And they cannot rage powder me. I think I'll do that. Mm. Okay, what else? Next up we've got... Not Beta Dude. Top 3 or 12. Okay. Um Rillaboom. I've used this Pokemon a bunch in Reg G, so I know the pretty consistent way to get good spreads for it. Here's my opinion, okay, on the spread that I think you're going to want here. I think you want 196 attack, adamant. Uh, 252. Two. Just scroll to the top. Adam, it's always at the top. Uh, max HP, just 252. Two. And then put the rest in special defense. Usually, like, what does this do? I don't fucking know, but I do know this. It just makes you not die as easy. Okay. You hit like a truck. You hit like a truck. You don't fucking die. This isn't for any specific calculation. It's just... This is just the spread that's worked for me. I typically didn't do the 60... I typically did the 60 in defense and ran an assault vest. But right now, you need the assault vest for our Chaladon. 
Yeah. So, this will have to do, you know? Yeah. Um... I remember the 196 plus attack was like a calculation for something. But the point is, it just hits the mark where you hit really fucking good. Um... Mouse hold can be different in different ways, but usually people just run like max speed, max attack, or max speed, max HP, and then plus speed minus attack nature. Timid, I think. I think it's timid. Or is it jolly? It might be jolly. It's timid. No, it is timid. It is timid. Okay. Where That's a typical set for mouse hold. Where do I put the remaining four? Uh, special defense. Um. Who? Okay, so now we're gonna get into the the part where we crunch a lot of numbers. Okay, I'm gonna go to showdown game. Uh, damage. Calculator. One, go. Um, John, and then, uh, um. Ooh, I'm trying to think of what we actually want to hit with this speed tier. Um, yeah, speed tiers, speed tiers. Um, what are the speed tiers you want to hit here? Um, what's the fastest thing? Let's go. Okay, Meow Scarada. So, or what am I saying? Yaskarada, can you drag a bolt faster? 42 compared to 123? Yeah, okay. Um, is there anything faster than Dragapult that we actually care about how to do? No. Okay. Um, is there anything that we want to out- What is our Chaladon faster? Where is our Chaladon? Sorry, I'm trying to think about... Okay. Um... Ooh. Okay, we can't speak Goldango consistently. Let's... Yeah, let's try Gyarados. Gyarados is a... I think Gyarados should work as a as a starting point. Forty six. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to run some calculations here. Does that work? What's Glamora? What's Glamora hitting? 130? Okay. Shit. Um. Alright, that's last for set of round one. Next up, we've got. No, that's 65. Amalgamate season. Super four. Yeah, eighty's a good tier. Eight the eighty's got a lot of shit. Ooh, Basket Legion's also a good one. Um so yeah, let's try it because eighty Yeah, eighty has a lot of shit. Eighty has a lot of shit. Let's go let's try to outspeed 
face eighties. Come on. I think. Okay. Um, yeah. forty-five. Okay, you know what? Orchid. Huh. I'm going to be very blatant with you. I'm not sure if this is going to be the best possible EV spread, but I can tell you this for sure. This should work, okay? This should at least do something. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be the best, but it should at least get us somewhere. So, uh, 252 HP. Uh, 28 speed. Or not speed, uh, 28 special attack, sorry. No, because your speed actually needs to be 228. And then you want a timid nature. So, this should be faster than Gyarados, always. Faster than Venusaur always, faster than Dragonite, faster than both forms of Basculegion, faster than Mamoswine, like a bunch of things that are maybe not the top tiers right now, but are definitely threatening in the metagame. And then in Tailwind, you're outspeeding basically everything in the game. Like, you're outspeeding Dragapult in Tailwind, which is, like, the fastest notable thing in the game. You know? What item should be on Mouse Hold? Um, it depends. Thinking about this team, um, we could either try a Pinchberry, like Figgy or Ayapapa, probably Ayapapa, the Agave. But like one of the Pinchberries could work. Covert Cloak could work to just let us not give a shit about Fake Out when we leave Mouse Hold Annihilate. Rocky Hill, man. Actually, that's not a good, that's not a bad idea. Rocky Helmet works. If you want Rocky Helmet, let's go Rocky Helmet. Um, I'd say your best Terra is either Grass or Ghost, depending on whether you're more worried about Spore or Fake Out, but I think you're probably more worried about Fake Out, considering you have Taunt. And Mouse Hold's done. Mouse Hold is not done. We need to come up with a funny name. I thought this was just going to be with the return of condoms. Or tampons, whichever one. Condoms was the one for the primate, but... Wait. There we go. That's their name. Okay. Wait. I have an even better name. Do you like okay. it? <laughs> it's the rubber yeah. hose. <laughs> um, okay. I need to remember who's left. Can we look at our Chaladon real quick? Our Chaladon is done. Uh, we need a Terra type. Uh, let's just go Fairy. Fairy is usually the best. Am I funny? You are funny. <laughs> um, okay, Annihilate. Um, let's. Look back at it later. We know Mouse Hold's done. I think we need a EV spread and Terra type for Fancy Brain. I think we also need a item. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm 
He's fancy. Honestly, I really don't feel like trying to make a complex spread for a fucking Sableye right now. So, how about this? Okay? Can you do me a favor? Because this is what I usually do for Pokemon like this. Ooh, I just realized there was something I did not actually calculate for. Um, shit. Give me one second. I just realized I, I, I've been neglecting to calculate for something on all of our Pokemon. Because we have grassy terrain. So we need to calculate for grassy terrain. Because there are ways to optimize grassy terrain here. Okay? Um... Okay, so that should be relatively close. 90. Okay, that should be one. Okay, uh, can you do me a favor with our Chaladon? Yeah. Can you lower their HP investment to 212? And then increase the special attack by whatever you removed? Okay. Thank you. Um, let me take a look at our mouse hold real quick. Because, again, usually people just go max HP on these Pokemon, but when we have a Rillaboom on the team, we should absolutely be optimizing for grassy terrain healing if we can. You know? Sure. Which the way is to make it the highest number possible that is divisible by 16, which makes it to where you can invest into everything else and still get the same grassy terrain healing. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Because Pokemon always rounds down. You're getting less raw bulk, but you're getting more special attack on your Archaladon, and you're getting the same amount of healing for Grassy Terrain. So okay. I think that's very worthwhile. Okay. Um, okay, 181. Or if you wanted, you could instead go back to 28 and then just, like, increase your special defense by that much. No, oh, fuck it, we ball. Okay. Um. Okay. How much does that decrease it by? One seventy six. Funny enough, Mousehold also gets their grassy terrain sweet spot at two hundred twelve. And should the rush just go into special defense? Um, honestly? Or maybe defense, because of fighting moves. Yeah, you could just uh, get rid of the four special defense and just put all of that into physical defense, which will give you one more physical defense than you have special defense. Okay. And not waste any EVs. Right. Also, I should be having... Zero attack IVs on these for foul play, right? Uh, yeah, on that one and on I fell. Yeah. I fell. I fell. Uh, also on Fancy Brain. Also on Fancy Brain? Yeah, Fancy Brain has foul play, but that uses the opponent's attack stat. Oh, yeah, okay. And I guess we're not using fake out for damage. Yeah, no, we're using fake out to, uh, to get some. Like, listen, the only time we're using Fake Out for damage is when it's a Focus Sash Pokemon that lost their Sash, and it's going to kill anyway. Yeah. Okay. Annihilate. Let's look at the EVs here. So I'm going to look at max HP. Okay. Your maximum HP is 217. Let's lower that for Grassy Terrain Cooper. It's sorry, two hundred. Okay, so two hundred seventeen. Okay, let's be going under two hundred ten. Okay, two hundred nine, eight, two hundred eight, two hundred eight health. So that would be one hundred eighty HP investment. Wait, one hundred eighty. So, oh, not two hundred eight. Yeah, the the stat is two hundred eight. Oh, okay. 
Let me report this set. Um. Okay. And what points, do my beloved OK Stables. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm thinking about what we want to outspeed with Mobius. With our Annihilate. I think we want to outspeed. Bax Caliber. Fifty two, right? Yeah, Start the battle. uh, so two hundred thirty six speed investment with a jolly nature. And then the rest goes into attack. We could put it into bulk if we wanted, but I think you'll appreciate the attack to uh, to to get KOs at the start. Yeah. Now, now it's fancy brains time. Let's eat some EVs. Okay. Sableye. Like, we're not gonna need speed investment because it's Frank's. Yeah. Here. Okay. Seven. I don't think. I think we just go max HP on Sableye. I think you would need to lower it too much to make it divisible by 16. I think you just want the max HP. Okay. Um. And then I'm just gonna make it so that their defense and special defense are even. Uh, you do want a minus attack nature, so that way when you are getting hit by foul play, you will be taking reduced damage. Right. Maybe on special defense to kind of even it out. Three, but yeah, I'm trying to even out the two stats. Just because that's what I do. Uh, 132, or actually, wait, wait, hold on. Is there a better way to do this? Let me try this again, just in case. 112. Can I hit 112? And then I this. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. So, um, 212 special defense investment. Uh, make the nature boost defense instead of special defense. And then just put the rest in defense. One, one, and bam, one, there's one, your spread. One, one. Okay. I mean, if you want, you can remove one number from HP to add one to defense to make your, like, bulk completely consistent on both sides. That's one point. How much could it affect a gameplay? Sometimes it really does, but I don't think it will in this case. Uh, <sighs> Fancy Brain needs an item. Um, a lot of people need an item. Do we have our e check check just to make sure? Do we have our EVs on everyone? Yeah, we do. And only Fancy Brain needs the item. Okay, we still do need to change some Terra types. Yeah. 
Um, okay, fancy brain. Um... I don't fucking know. Uh... Uh, dealer's choice. Pinch berry or mental herb? Yeah, mental herb would be funny. Okay. Now let's get people's terra types. We already got for him. Uh okay. Dude. So probably fire. Fire is probably the best for this case. I've seen some other types get usage, but fire is probably the best just to avoid burns. Yeah, that makes sense. Rubber hoses, yep. ghost, fancy brain. Three, two, one, uh, I don't know. Honestly, Bug. um, please don't actually do that. Wait, hold on. Give me, let me, give me a chance to figure something out. On summer, calculator, ghost. Or, that's the wrong type. Uh, defense. There we go. Ghost. Dark. Uh, okay, so you take half from poison. The only weakness is fairy. Um... Because if, if Fancy Brain is Poison Terror type, there could be that niche edge case where I can use him to remove Toxic Spike. Which Steel is, will give you more resistances, but yeah, that's that's fair. Because uh, still that's a valid concern. Yeah. All right, let me report this set. Uh, let me show you. Really boom, I guess, because Palafin's going water, I imagine. Yeah, probably. Um, Rillaboom honestly does run Grass Terra a lot. You you really can just run Grass if you want. Okay. Next up is Ditto B Fan. Green two, three, four. So are we? If there's a defensive Terra, we'll figure it out later. I think. Okay, so... Because Grass is a really good Terra type on Rillaboom. Now, for the most important part, we gotta come up with funny names for everybody. Which we're halfway through already. I've arrived, hey so. We need funny now names that... for Annihilate, Halib... And Rillaboom. I don't know why, but I really want to name something Laugh Trap. Also, the entire team will be female because there will be there will be one Pokemon trainer that has all male Pokemon, and they try to use a track, and they'll be like, finally. Finally, someone I could beat. Actually, the attract strats are usually on female Pokemon because the times where they actually get used is to counter the genies. Alright, we'll make them all men. But the genies don't exist in this meta game, so no one's gonna do that. Hell, even then, it was usually rivalry Haxorus and not like an attract strat, but still. Anyways. Oh, shit. I can't do laugh what? track, but I'll do you something better. Oh, 
<laughs> what if we just called the palafin emulator? Why? Oh. Dolphin emulator. That's it. It's just the dolphin emulator. And then we have the Annihilate. I don't get the joke. That one fateful day. Nope. Like, I know the phrase, I don't get why. Oh, it's just John Mulaney. Okay. I feel like it's funnier if we just call him John. <laughs> it was just John. Mole anus. Mole anus. That's fucking mole anus. That's that's cool. John mole anus. Okay, that's good. Okay, ship it. Ship it. All right, let's validate it. Let's validate our parking. Valid for Jet Knight. Yeah. Uh, what yeah, we you need to name the team. Wait, the team is called Fateful Day. Sure, this works. Yeah, I'm putting. Uh... Yeah. Hold on, I need to. I need to go into my settings. Bear clipboard. Just the hose. Okay, now I should be able to do this. No. Hold on. Copy. Not working. Put him up. Did I apply it? Right, let's just do bi-directional. We're, we're bisexual in this house now. Copy. Hey, it's not working. Right, let's just save it. Makes a Discord account to send this to yourself. No, don't actually do that. I agree. This is taking I'm just gonna like forever. Thank you for the slurp. I'm gonna slurp in a second. I need it. Slurp Fuck. time! Slurp time! Hold on, let me start this set, and then I'll go grab some water. Halifin is fat fart cream 15. Thank God I wasn't looking at Staples' chat. Next up is Crunchy Dave K. 
I'm also gonna go grab something to drink. Yellow three, yeah. yellow three, J two. This is way too fucking slow. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna find a user. Bleachy boy. How's everyone doing? How are we doing today, Pulp? Waiting on new grenade. Maybe, yeah. Wait, is there like a poke paste website? I'm just gonna type this bar for bar in noob DM.
I'm gonna get balls into it. did you do while I was gone? I queued up for our first match, quick. Who do I send out? Okay. Um, you should always accept open team sheets if you can, because of the fact that, uh, you know. I don't know how to do that. Quick. Well, uh, I don't know what happened, but you don't have the option, so. Who do I put in? Fuck. Coach. No, that's not where that would be. It would be in the chat, and it's not there. So I don't know what the fuck happened. Who do I put um, in? Who do I put in? Okay, well, this team, this is a fuck ass team. I don't know what Glyscore is doing here. Club Babel makes sense. Aloma Mola doesn't make any sense. Like, I guess Grimstar is not bad. Why would you have that and Club Babel on the same team? I don't fucking know. All this is really confusing and weird. Well, I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying to get up the rating. Rating, so I I just need to murder. You know what I say? Huh? I think you hit him with the nasty. Okay. What is the nasty? And by hit him with the nasty, I mean you lead Palafin plus Mousehold, and then you beat up. The Palafin slot while switching in, you're annihilating. Oh you shit, only three me. Pokemon? No, you. Oh, four. Wait. You know what? A fucking singles team. Fuck it, we ball. Okay, switch to Mouse Hold. For the record, please, for the love of God, we need to make this, you put BSS reg H, that's why this isn't working, because it's it's supposed to just be Gen 9 BGC 2024 reg H. Okay, so I, I selected the wrong thing. A yeah, battle turn timer. on the timer there. Hi, who the fuck is in here? Yo, hi HBH. I'm Boom. playing each orchid Pokemon, and she did the wrong thing like an idiot. Okay, they put up reflect. Okay, what do we do? What do we do now? Um. Population bot. Taunt. Fuck! They taunted oh, no, me. They taunted. Um. Go back to emulator. <laughs> I don't think they can punish you for a bulk up here. I don't think they're going to, at least. They can parting shot me, but that's... Yeah, but you still get... You you net a defense boost here, which is really good. Um, I don't think they punish you. Just bulk up again. You win this war. Bulk up. <laughs> Wait, that's unaware. That's unaware. Never mind. Never mind. Terra Water Wave crash that bitch. <laughs> That's unaware, Club Babel. Oh, fuck. Do it again. You might be dead. No, 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 no. no. You're gonna crit. Trust. You're gonna crit. Trust. You're gonna crit this next one. Trust. Just keep clicking it. That? Idiot. Do it again. Yo, we got the crit! Like I said, trust me, trust Alright, what next? Run him over. You are 
Wade Pratt. the fuck Just up. keep clicking it, buddy. There is no Run reason him not down. to. What now? Jet punch. You are a runaway semi truck. Let him have it. Oh, this guy might have extreme speed, actually. Tell me what uh, to just, do. Uh, jet punch to break multi scale if it has it. He doesn't have extreme speed. No, he oh, does. He's setting up first. Um, wave crash. Just, just click it. Just click it. Oh, they're scale shot. Um. Yeah, no, this could be a problem. We're probably dead here. Um, go John, go John Molanus. Your only chance here is surviving and rage fisting. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, you survive and rage fist. Yeah, because you have the thing in the back. You survived and rage fisted. They're dead. Oh shit. Yo! Yo, we won, yo! You played this- Wait, tell them that this is the wrong format. Tell them you made- Oh, wait, no, they're not in the chat. They're not in the chat. <laughs> wait, hold on. You can- Wait, scroll back to the top where it says- Or, no, no, because it says they left, but whatever. Wherever it says that they- They left, right there. Just- you, you should be able to click that, and you should be able to- you could send them a message after the battle? Usually. Or maybe just click on the name? I don't know. Why maybe is that feature in Pokemon Showdown a place where toxicity thrives? Okay, whatever. Just just close it and make a... Make, transport the team to a different... To, to the correct format. To the good format. Do I do reggae or reggae No, you format. need to go to the team builder. You need to go to the team builder. No, it's no, it's the already on that. It's already on that. I on here. I clicked oh. the wrong one. That's weird. Okay, okay next up anyway. is take the buffalo. Hold on, let me report this. Yeah, part. I was gonna say you need to make a new set. You need to do a new set. Or could you know it'd be really funny to watch you stream? What? Dark Souls. No, thank you. <laughs> Blue three magenta one. Sorry, I was I was casting my incantations to turn HBH blue again. Why? Blue balls. Get fucked, idiot. Or I guess Man. lack of fucked. What the fuck? Get lack of fucked, idiot. All right. First official real game. Yeah, this time you're not playing the wrong format i still what? won though i'm still the goat i literally made every decision that game we're both john mulaney okay uh we're both john mulaney okay so now we're in the rain ditto okay what do we do yeah always accept open team sheets because for you as a new player, having open team sheets means that you get to know what they have and you don't have to account for every single move that they might run. Like, open team sheets is very helpful to newer players. Um, honestly, pick your poison. What do you feel like playing? You don't have to look at the sheet. You can hover over the Pokemon and the little thing of things beneath them, and it'll show you everything that Pokemon has. Okay. Um. I want to go... You should look over it before you choose your Pokemon, though. You know, look at what moves they have. I just realized this guy's name is Stankinator. Noob, are you smurfing? Just look at the individual Pokemon. Also, no, I am not Stankinator. I have called something the Stankinator before, but I am not the Stankinator 32. I think they're gonna run Pelipper first, so I think I wanna do... Oh, this is almost certainly a Pelipper Rain team. Yeah. Uh, well, no, shit. Yeah, it's Pelipper Rain. Do I do Emulator Rubber Hose? Um, I don't think Emulator... Or Actually, that might be a good okay. way to do this. I would say you probably wanna beat up into the switch in on your uh 
I don't think John Molanus is the call here. I think you go back. Because I think John Molanus is going to get shit on by Primarina. I think so. you want to do Emulator, Rubber Hose, and then Ifel. Because Ifel loses to a lot less of the opposing the opponent's team. And then what? Um, it depends. It depends, but I think... I think Butum is your best play here. Okay. Personally, you know. Okay, now watch this. You know what to do. You know what to do. Do I? You know what to do. Like, obviously, they want an electro shot to Palafin, right? Like this is a this is a free side target beat up. This is a free beat up for you. Oh okay, I I get it now. This thing. Nubinator is picking his options now. I can promise you that is not me. There's no okay. way the first person I run into in doubles is not you when his name is Stankinator. I. When we joke about the stinky versions of other characters, like Will Smell. Pulling this up. Where is it? Here we go. This is my computer screen right now. I don't believe you. Go on, Stankinator. Play your move. I literally don't even know what this fucking team... I've never had this team before. I have two teams for Red Gage. My Sneasler team and my Parish Trap team. Wait, does it still hit six times? No, it hits four times. No, it hits four because of how many Pokemon are in your party. Yeah. Okay. I think they're gonna want to swap out their Pelipper. What's their Pelipper's Terra type? Grass. What do you think it's whipping? What do you think's trying to. S okay. It's probably one of the grass types switching in to take that hit. If. Okay. So. If you body press here, you oh. can hit most of the things in the back for good damage. The only thing that isn't... On Pelipper? Yeah. Or alternatively, you could body press the Archaladon, which would deal super effective damage and possibly kill. Because that's the thing that's more threatening to your Archaladon. And then I could just taunt with Rubber Hose. Yeah, maybe taunt the Pelipper? to prevent Tailwind. No. That crit did not matter, I promise you. Not at plus five. <laughs> and the Pelipper, the Pelipper did try to use Tailwind. Okay. Like I said, I feel like this is a pretty free Electro shot in the Prime Arena. Like, I think you're always faster, right? Check your speed. Check your speed. 147 versus... Yeah. Max 123. Yeah, no. You always outspeed there. Um, Probably just follow me to prevent uh, potential hurricane confusion into Eiffel. Next up is Luckman Or you could have protected to make it so you could stay for longer to keep up friend guard. Luckman KB. Either one worked. Shade one. Uh, honestly, I just go emulator here. Shade one. Like, what is here to prevent emulator no. from committing a murder? <laughs> that guy. Um. What's okay? One fifty versus your. What's your speed? One twenty-seven. Or Wrong one. The other one. The other one. Emulator. Oh. Emulator. 121. 
okay, so they do have to be fairly speed invested to be able to outspeed you, or they might just try to uh, grassy glide you. Um, my opinion here is, uh, what what's their move set on Rillaboom? Woodhammer, grassy glide, you turn fake out. Okay, so my opinion here, I think if we can get Rillaboom versus Rillaboom, we win. Who should I swap out? No, 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 no. I mean, as an end game, I think we just electro shot the Pelipper and Terra Water Wave Crash the uh, the Rillaboom. Okay. Wait. Okay. They faked out Ifel. Yeah, that ain't doing shit. I'm upset. <laughs> Just get punch it! Just get punch the bitch! Electroshop Pelipper? Yeah, Electroshop Pelipper. They're dead. They're done. It's over. You win. No contest. Go fuck yourself. So yeah, this is this is the top tiers. This is a team of mostly top tiers, but it's a good fucking team. I mean, Sableye is pretty funny. Yeah, just honestly, just like body press and get punch, you win. Let's go, man. Register an account to protect your ladder rating. No thanks. How was that? Your first game. How do you how do you how do you feel about the team? No way. Pretty good so far. All right. On my fourth game, I want you to only tell me who I should put in, and don't tell me anything else. Okay, well, this is Murph, game bro. two. Okay. This is game two. Except open team sheets, because open team sheets helps you. Because you are a new player, and you can't account for every single thing that they run. They have a Murkrow, which means they have priority Tailwind. They have Kilowattro, which also is Tailwind. Generally, this entire team... Uh, is really wanting to be around Tailwind. How fast can Murkrow be? Check Murkrow speed. Check Murkrow speed. 157 max. But min 86. What's your uh, Sableye speed? What's your Sableye speed? 70. Okay, so they cannot be slower than your Sableye, which means that um, Sableye emulator is a pretty good lead here. Uh, Fancy Brain Emulator is a pretty good lead. Because if they go Murkrow Typhlosion, and they try to Sunny Day and Eruption, you can Rain Dance, and your Rain Dance will be slower priority. So it'll go second. Okay. And that means that their Sunny Day will not be active, and instead of having a 1.5 boost, they will have a 1, or a, they will have a 0 0.5 reduction. Yeah, who should I put in now? And then Emulator could potentially just Terra Water Jet Punch it, so they die. They could, you could just kill a sheep. Like, that can kill a bitch. Like, I know it's like a thing, so we're gonna laugh. It's like, ah uh, ha ha, you know, it's baby palafin. It can kill a bitch, I promise you. Um. Who should my other two be? Um, you, uh, depends. They're putting Mouse on Battle form? Timer, wow. I think anything other than Annihilate works here. I think Ifel is probably going to do the best for the end game, but, but I'm is less, like, Oh, well, that's you know? shifty. Um, should I still click Rain Dance? Um. Hmm. Fake out? 
the shift tree, I think. Because they might be trying to go for an attack with priority tailwind. Or they might be doing uh And honestly I think we switch out to I fail. Okay. Oh! I clicked the roll button again. What do you mean, Dark Souls? Oh. Now what? Okay, um I'm tempted to rain dance electro shot the Murkrow. I would actually rain dance body press the shift tree and then electro shot later. I knocked off my assault vest, that's fine. Do we expect the Murkrow to click twenty day? Yeah. They would not put in the Typhlosion if they weren't going to. Right, Electro shot the Murkrow. You kidding me? You need to damage that Typhlosion. Actually, no, no. Actually, Murkrow probably is a good idea to try to kill here. They didn't even go for a priority move. Jesus. Oh, that kill. Oh, they went for Snarl. I am shocked that killed, honestly. Anyways, you want to know? You want to see something funny? Huh. Also, I think I want to encore just... the Murkrow. No, 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 you can't. You can't. It's dark type. It's immune to prankster moves. Oh, right. You're, you're right. You're right. Honestly, just rain dance again in case they sunny day. Okay. And then just, just jet punch the Typhlosion. Right. You can tear our water. Jet punch the Typhlosion. Oh. Oh. That is, in fact, a thing you can do. Well. I should taunt the Murkrow. Um... I would personally try to follow me away the feather dance and just wave crash the Typhlosion. Okay. This way it has less health to work with. Uh, now, wait, hold on, hold on, cancel, cancel. Okay, now they're gonna be dealing a lot less damage with Eruption. So now, now we wave crash the Murkrow. What does Rubber Hose do? Um, follow me to prevent a potential feather dance into emulator. Okay. Because now we can ignore Typhlosion for a bit. It's no longer a threat. See? Yeah, you're right. You're right. See? Right. It's using eruption. Yo. I forgot they had another Pokemon. Um, I think we just follow me Wave Crash again. I don't think we care. On who? Cross Moth. Oh, we're dead. I don't know how we died, but we died. Uh, oh, that's how. Damn. That person was a bitch, they didn't let us use a- In a hindsight, a in a hindsight, Eiffel was a bit of a mistake there because of the fact that, like, we, in that situation, for the switch-in, we needed an immediate damage option, and right now our only immediate damage option is Rillaboom, which is really, like, the, the pitfall of this team. Like, its only immediate damage option is Rillaboom. Rillaboom is the only thing that actually hits things really hard at the get-go. Right. Next up, we've got Hubinator Abby. Yo, I got a match now. Gold for Red 2.
I still think it's crazy that you like said, oh, hey, this submission must be this tier. The submission must be this tier. But then we have shit like Game & Watch in the same pool as Captain Falcon. I didn't, I didn't sort the groups by tiers. I know, which is, I feel like was, uh, in hindsight, not a great decision. I thought about it, but I was like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to sort all that. I made the bracket, like, on the day of. Alright, let's lock in. That token model right. looks stupid. Yeah, and I think that's a charming. I just realized, they don't allow shinies? What do you mean? At my, oh, my... no, no, no. It's shiny, but only in the battle. It only shows once you get into the battle. Like, on team preview, it doesn't show shiny or not. That's weird. Yeah, it is. Mm. Um... A lot of... It's a lot of weird shit that doesn't make any fucking sense. Mainly Sceptile and Malamar. Neither of those do anything. This might be a Pledges team. This might be Pledges. This might be Swamp. It might be Swamp Pledge. It probably is Pledges. I don't think- I don't see a reason somebody would run Sceptile other than Shed Tail or Grass Pledge with Primarina Water Pledge. So this is probably a Swamp. Honestly? Honestly? Uh, what's Sceptile speed compared to Mouseholds? Max 189. I've got 179. Okay, so... I think the best option is just to hope that they can't kill in one shot and go for, uh... John Mulanus Rubberhose. And who else? But, um, and then honestly, just dealer's choice. It's fancy brain time. What does John Mullane want to do here? Um, I think Woke up. you have a couple decisions. Either you can try to Rage Fist something to death immediately, or you can follow me and bulk up. Like, you can just uh, Rage Fist beat up or follow me bulk up. I think those are the two good plays here. Or, alternatively, bulk up Taunt the Grimstar. But I don't think that helps you too much, because they're going to set up Reflect immediately, and you, they don't have any physical, or the, any you don't have any special attackers to capitalize off of them not getting uh, Light Screen. But you can prevent potential thunder waves later. I'm doing bulk up huh? All right. Did I send the wrong dude, Ben? I think I sent the old dude. Shit. Battle timer? Uh, go ahead, yeah. They're taking forever. You yeah, know, I definitely sent the wrong Duke. I haven't seen a single left tilt. Well, shit. Oh, well. Hopefully, somebody will make it to bracket. Next up, we've got Half Mario Hazy Forest. 
Magenta 2, Yellow 4. Hey, since HBH is here, we should get Nerf in here. If Nerf wants to do TF2. That would be awesome. Let me let me see. Let me see. Can we get nerf for some yummy yummy team defense fort? Team fort tower defense five. And we get the funny nerfinator. <clears throat> okay, this person's timed out. Wait, no! Oh my God, they stalled. They waited for the. Timer to go to five seconds. That's annoying. Yeah, I fought somebody who was constantly doing that and then lost. It was funny. Okay. Am I confused? No, you have minus uh, special attack. Oh, shit. I wanna beat up. Which actually is really helpful to you because that boosted your attack by two. Yeah. Hold okay. on, no, they hit you twice. You already have a 150 base power rage fist. They forfeited. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you had you had much better options at that moment. You literally could have just like drain punched the septile. I think drain punch the septile and protect was probably your better option. Just to try to keep up friend guard for longer. Because friend guard halves the damage on your partner Pokemon, so that's really helpful. I'm on 1069 now. Okay, you know what? That one doesn't I'm gonna count. Search. I'm gonna see if I can fight you. Okay. I cannot. Um, yeah, I don't know what this team's trying to do. They rejected open team sheets. Oh, yeah, they're trying to gimmick you. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to hit you with a gimmick. They're trying to do something stupid. Don't know what it is. They're probably trying to do hypnosis with Milotic and, and the super sweet syrup on uh, Hydrapple. Hold yeah, on. they're definitely trying to gimmick your ass. No, I got um, this. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I will critique you harshly. Uh, I will critique you harshly for this. Do not bulk up with Baby Palafin, I swear to God. If you stay in with Baby Palafin, it is, for, it is to protect, or it is to try to nuke something with a water move. Off rip. They do have talent flame out. They rejected open team sheets. So they didn't know about the fucking. They didn't know about the safety goggles. They didn't know about the safety goggles. It's your call. A favor real quick yeah can you hover over rage fist when you get the chance uh, i just hover over it look at the base power of that And 
and they got another poison, that lucky bastard. Honestly? Actually, no, I won't tell you what I do if I'm you. You, you get to do what you do. Would like to remind you, though, that you're, you're Terra. You can Terra. You have a terrestrialization available. I don't think anything else is using it very well. I was talking about Terra Water. I don't think anything else on your team is using this very well in the rest of this matchup. You could have just one-shot the Garganackle. Yeah, I was thinking, hmm, do I want to save it for this play? Like, the play was definitely... Because, like, you're not getting any good resistances out of it here. The play... You can't fake out that. That's Ghost type. Yeah, you're right. Goodbye. But yeah, the play there was definitely to Terra Water Wave Crash the Garganackle and Rage Fist the Amoongus because your Annihilate was faster. Okay, but then... overall, you won. I did win. A overall, w that was not a bad play. That was actually shockingly good for like how little you've done this. I, I am impressed. Especially when getting used to a I, skill intensive team like this. Like this is this is a fairly skill intensive team. So with all of the nuance to this team that you had to use, that was impressive. Also, HBH! Hi. You're gonna be fucking excited! Why is that? Garganackle's back, baby! It's no. good again! Again, we're back. Earth Necrobro's fucking dead. There's no more fucking restricted legendaries to Urshifu's dead. Garganackle's back. Holy shit! Not no more rapid strike Urshifu. They don't rule the roost or anything, but they are really good again. Knackle Bros. Also, Palafin. We're back. Palafin is also back. Let's go. My OG team mm. returns! I don't know what this bitch is doing, but, um, good luck. Play- play your best plays. Not LMO. Do your best do's. If you would like to consult me about statistics, mm. I will- I will not give you plays. Copper three, okay, three, 14, copper three. But if you would like to- Consult to me about game mechanics that you're unfamiliar with. I or or game mechanics or statistics, shit like that. Okay. I all I want you, all I want you to do is stop me if I'm about about to make a brain dead blunder, like fake out on a ghost type. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Or pranks are on a dark type. All right. This bitch is a bitch. Okay. Um. Okay, who should I lead with? Uh... Because I'm still like... I mean, what angle do you want to approach this game from? Like, what's your... What what angle do you want to approach this from? What do you want to win you the game, essentially, is what I'm saying. Like, what are you comfortable relying on based on the Pokemon you're looking at? Also, remember, Ursaluna Blood Moon can, uh... Ursaluna Blood Moon can hit ghost types with normal moves. Okay. It has a 140 base power normal move that cannot be used two times in a row. I will say this, I would not bring... The one thing that I really don't like about having... Uh, Fancy Brain as our uh, rain setter 
is the fact that Fancy Brain needs to already be on the field to be able to do their job. Uh, the Murkrow could be Covert Cloak, which would give us an issue. But it also might be Eviolite, but it could be Terra Ghost too, which would also give us an issue. Wait, no, we're not- we don't have Fancy Brain on the field, we can't- okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know, it's up to you. What you want to do is what you want to do. Honestly, you could just do the same thing, but Terra Water. I feel like there's no way that's killing without Terra Water. And even if- I don't even think it's killing with Terra Water, but like, you'll get some significant chunkage on him. Interesting. Let's go figure out what your goal is here. Uh, not die. Ouch. By the way, I'm pretty sure that killed if you didn't have friend guard, just just so you know. All up to you at this point. Life Orb and Rocky Helmet. Interesting. Hello, Nerf! Hello, Nerf! We got the crew! Mm hmm. I feel like it. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of things you could do here. Ooh, did you call it Protect? Predict that? Uh, no, I just did follow me on rubber hose. Well, I mean, I know. And I want, I wanted to take, I wanted to take out the micro. Fair enough. So they got, they got three Pokemon left. And because what I was expecting is I was expecting the fur alligator to hit the follow me rubber hose and then die to the rocky helmet. So I yeah, wanted yeah, to take out the micro. And I mean, even if they did literally anything else they weren't really a threat either way yeah no that's 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 good um hmm, interesting uh this I might be fake out might be yeah, probably, uh it also probably has grassy blood so they could potentially just kill rubber hose and then attack uh the psychic fangs into uh John Molinas. Oh, this is Brady and Caddy, yeah. The Psychic Fangs won't huh. kill since Rubber Hose is on the field unless they crit. You could, like... You could get a bulk up here if you want to greed. If you want to greed. I thought you said something completely different. What did you think I said? My lawyers have advised I do not finish the bit. If you want to cream... So now they are forced to give you an attack buff on John Molinus. <laughs> Ooh, that's faster. Interesting. Interesting. Can you get out of this? Oh, they had Tailwind up! I'm... 
We're so dumb. They had Tailwind. Of course, they're fucking faster. With that in mind, I think I always just try to protect both, even if Rubber Hose might die. But, I mean, that's not really an option now. But now you can protect both safely. Wait, no, you don't have protect on IFL. What am I saying? You don't have protect. Good luck. Ooh, did they have... No, they knock off. They just gave you a boost. Honestly, I think I go for the Rillaboom there instead of the Incineroar body press, just because of the fact that the Rillaboom's the thing's threatening emulator. Should I protect you? I mean, I don't think you're gonna be able to kill the Rillaboom, but you can try. Oh yeah. You probably you probably do protect emulator anyways, because they do probably just grassy glide emulator here. I think they always do that. Yeah. But you could at least confirm the kill on Ensign. I think it's over here. I think you can just, like, click your big moves and not worry about it. It's body press. It's always body press. That's the most damage you're getting here. But it's 1.5 defense. Have to yeah, but you have Body press scales defense. through defense. You you both have 1.5 defense. Wait a minute. Just jet punch it. Jet punch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you they they see? See? They were fucked. They were fucked either way. Also, the reason I say that is because they probably have special defense investment. And are also probably assault vest. So, oh yeah, yeah, because most Rillaboom are assault vest, and they don't really have anything else on their team that wants the assault vest. Stables is just saying Incineroar and screen everyone throw yeah. up. Incineroar, the only character that can that the the only character Fuck that you, both man. Pokemon trainers and Amiibo trainers fear. Amiibo <sighs> Red Eleven. <laughs> Incineroar is the only character that's bust that's busted in every single meta that it's in. <laughs> Hear me out. We get Incineroar and Lancing Air Hockey and we make them bad. Good luck getting the rights. Also, I Bitch, am I'll get the left. I am going to keep trying to cue into you. I'm going to try and beat your ass. I hope you know that. I'm going to try and find a way to beat your ass on the ladder. Okay. It will be funny. Okay. It would be hilarious. Let's um let's click battle on three. One, yep. two, three. Damn. Congratulations no, on the name change, Lucy. No, I'm fighting Malphite Ma Maniac. Whoever the fuck this is. With my Parish Trap team. Wait, let me accept open team, please. Oh, this bitch. Good luck. Good luck, Orchid. Yeah. 
I know my play here every single time. Keep in mind, this is Typhlosion. They will be using Eruption. That is the only move this fucking thing is good for. By the way, the answer is Terra Water Jet Punch. I Terra Water Jet Punch there. Okay. To make the initial one do less damage. I don't want to attack. I just need to remember jet punch is priority. I didn't mean. But yeah, ever since, ever since uh, fucking yesterday, um, or was it two days ago? Yeah, ever since uh, two days ago. I've been wanting to play some more TF2, because now I'm actually starting to enjoy it. Hell yeah. Now that I have my playstyle. What, fucking run it and die heavy? Yes! It's Amazing. fun! It's- that is really funny to watch. I will say, as- As a quote-unquote experienced heavy main. That is really funny to watch. I think it's really fun. I mean, that's kind of what I would do it with, uh, mini spotlings and some of the other spotlings in Splatoon. <laughs> I just kind of run in and do some damage. Especially with mini. I'd run in hope to try and get something. And just ha use the fact that I can kill people fat, uh, faster, uh, to my advantage. This is Overcloak Winsicott, I believe. Mm. Oh, you're getting another match? No, no, I'm, no, still, I'm fighting this thing, man. Alright. Oh, hi, Albert. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think I lose this. Who oh big chungus by the way? Figured I'd just say that because that sounds really funny to say. Thank you. Alright, I lost that one. Yeah, unfortunately we got into matches within split seconds of each other, so I couldn't cancel out and watch yours. Right, next up is Orchid Iguano. You know what? Better yet, I can just challenge you. Yeah, because I, 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 I think these two goobers want a TF2. So we'll do our match I'm, together. I'm just chilling playing Dark Souls. You guys have fun however long you want to have fun for. Four, one. Damn, you don't even I'm want a TF2 with the buddies? You. Would you like I'm... to do a best of three? <clears throat> sure. 
Okay, I will give you the choice. Parish Trap, Gondozo, or both. Which means, would you like to fight one team, the other team, or both Which, teams, one after the other? Whichever one you think will be the most even for my team. I don't know. I have no idea how these teams will match up into each other. It's a challenge we did. Dealer's choice. Okay. I honestly kind of want to do both, because I want to see how you'll react to both teams. They're both really, really cool. Mm. Okay, um... I'm gonna close the screen... So I don't know what you're doing. Timer time. Why do you have battle timer on? Why not? Because you can pressure me. You can pressure me. Okay, fine. You don't have to have a battle timer. Hmm. hmm. Motherfucker. Okay, it's fine. It's whatever. I'll be fine. Oh, you have Shadow Tag. Okay. Yep. I didn't know Shadow Tag was it, it, legal in this meta. Um, it's it's legal everywhere. They're they're the only ban. They're, they're it's not like singles. You don't just ban a bunch of shit for no reason. Okay. Uh, good to know. That's like the whole point of Parish Trap. You trap with Shadow Tag. Oh wow, that got me. <laughs> what move are we gonna do? Honestly, with the I'm Gothitelle? shocked that got me. What are we gonna do with the Gothitelle? If I may ask. Um, I was gonna heal pulse the Palafin because I thought you were just gonna try to beat it up. Okay. Go, baby! Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Get rid of that. No more mouse hold. You're gonna take a hit.
Okay, what did you do? What did you do? Okay. I figured. Did you double? No. Yeah, no, I'm fucked. Unless! Unless! I get very lucky! Then I have a chance! But it's very unlikely, but I might get it. I did not get it. I needed I needed the triple protect. GG's? No. GG. Time for game two. Oh shit, we forgot to turn on open species. Um, no, you forgot. I put it on. Is, is there a way to go back on it? Or no. No. Okay. A lot of. You can't encore me if I haven't used a move yet. I also have mental alerts. Okay. That was a bad play on my part. Yeah, and I couldn't prevent you from doing it because I can't look at your stream. <laughs> because, you know, obvious reasons. Yeah. I can't stream snipe you. I have a question for you. What? Have you watched the video about immunities that? Yeah, I have. Uh, that poke or that different types have. Yeah, I have. So you know all the immunities that are non-type based or that are based on your type and not. Yes. Yeah, niche. Niche immunities. Okay, so you do know that you can do this. Okay, good play. Good play. That's a good miss for me, actually. Mm. Did not expect another snarl there, honestly.
I'm putting the timer on. Damn, Nubinator. Okay. Yeah, no, I win this. Good game. Damn. All right. So that's 1-1, uh, one, one, right? Yep. Going to game three. Uh, let me let me report this set. Also. Okay. Alright, we're going on to round three. We've got Luckman Abbey. Did you seriously put battle timer on? Yep. You cocksucker. You know I'm What is so wrong with the battle timer? I'm setting up a set! Oh, shit. You're right. You're right. Brain. Brain fard. Brain fard. Apology. Let me look at your fucking team sheet. Were you not reading my team sheet this entire time? I was setting up the set! No, but I mean, like, have you not, like, you had the team sheet game one. Did you not read it? Let me look over it again, damn. It's valid, it's fine. I'm just making sure. Because with the way you said it, it sounded like you didn't read it ever. <laughs> I skimmed it, okay? Question, does Mento Herb uh, go through Follow Me? Like, does Follow Me set off Mental Herb? No. Also, my only move that targets any of you hits both of you anyways, so it wouldn't matter. Bigotry. Yeah. 
<laughs> now, yeah. That is the one thing I did not cover for. That is the one thing I did not cover for. Go on, bring in your golf no. Okay. No, I actually don't have it. <laughs> I didn't bring it. Illuminator throwing? It ain't over till it's over. You never know. Okay, I called that. Okay, so you bulked up here? Alright, chill. Chill as shit. Um... That's fine. No. I know all four of your Pokemon now. <laughs> How do I get through them? I just have to make a read, I think. Yeah, okay, I was right. I was right. Okay, that's gone. Household is still on deck, unfortunately. Let me report this set. Okay. Shit. Next up, we've got half Mario LML. Magenta 2, green 14. Battle timer's not on, is it? No, it's not. Okay. And then after this, we TF2! Or I fight you with the Gondozo team. Either one. I just I'm realized, I only now just noticed Mick is here. She's just standing Hi, menacingly, menacingly behind Nerf. Oh, hey, what's up? Nerf, Nerf looks like she's about to get executed. Yeah, what of it? But I'm made. I wouldn't execute. Okay. What of it? What if I want to be executed? What if I want her to try? Good. It's deserved, honestly, because of your cringe existence. What? <laughs> I don't think that's healthy. Kind of hard. Apologies, Nerf. I say this in good faith. <laughs> uh, and I say this in not good faith. Um, <laughs> sure. Damn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay. I got this. Okay. Okay. I have a chance. I have a chance. I have a chance. I can do this. I can. I can do this. 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 This is doable. This is doable. I think I know what you do here. I think. Come on. Come on. Show me this. Show me. Show me this. Show me this. Come on. Not what I wanted.
<laughs> what the? Oh, oh. Not enough. What? <laughs> you here? Okay. Consider screen. Oh my God. What is that being said doing here? <laughs> what? I'm playing a, a, an Undertale AU fan game, uh, Outer Tail. Fucking amazing. So uh, far. Outer Tail? Outer Tail, yeah, it's like Holy shit. Undertale meets space. How much damage does that do in response? Okay. Oh, it's regular poison. <clears throat> oh. GG! Oh, I, I am officially... Oh, I'm officially a better Pokemon trainer than... Nubinator. Wait, no. John Mulaney is a better Pokemon trainer than Nubinator. Don't push it. I'm saying John... I'm not better than you, but John Mulaney... I mean... It's right there, look at it. Down push. <laughs> I literally made this entire team this morning. Okay, but John Mulaney. I will admit, you are a better Pokemon trainer than me. But you've, you. you've, made, you've made yourself a good rival in John Mulaney Gaming. I have. I'll admit that. Uh, I'll, 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 i gentlemen to that. Good rival. Yeah. You and me, though, not rivals. You and John Mulaney Gaming, rivals. The core. On site. On site. Oh, come on. Come on. No, we are, we are rivals. Come on. It's like, it's like how, it's like Eminem and Slim Shady. It's Orchid and John Mulaney Gaming. Will the real John Mulaney please stand up? The entire crowd stands up. <laughs> they peel their skin face masks off to all reveal John Mulaney. Every single one of them is John Mulaney. Alright. <clears throat> Sir, we have to run sector four, deploying crowd of John Mulaney's. Is that a Goomba? Okay, I'm gonna take a piss real quick, then we should TF2. Okay. Sound good?